Hello friends, welcome to IBM Integration Bus tutorial series. In my earlier videos, I have created a integration service and explained step by step demonstration how to use it. I'll uh, continue my journey on top of the ESQL I have started. So my agenda is to you know uh, give all the detailed information about ESQL because there are not plenty of uh, information available over the net. So I would like to create a very comprehensive ESQL tutorial guide so that you should find at least most of the information you are looking for. So this is the section. Other things will automatically came up. Don't worry about it. For the time being, focus only on the, your business logic and slowly you will understand uh, what other components are meaning. Okay. What is this uh, uh, declare and what is this module function we will slowly create our own user defined stuff. So this is the step we define the variable. In any programming language the variable is very important. Those are the local variable which will store the information for a certain amount of time and we can do any kind of operation addition, multiplication or we can concatenate and we will slowly cover various uh, string methods available. Okay. So here we have assigned, we have setting the city with a default New York. Remember string we have to give with a single quotation mark. And using XML NSC parser, we have extracted the ID and assigned into the employee ID. Okay. So we have to give the full path, but autocomplete is available. And inside this output uh, root, we can access this name, city, ID and assign these variables. Okay. So uh, today my agenda is to explain about uh, you know if else condition and uh, some comparison and uh, compare uh, some comparison operators and uh, do while loops for loop. So this kind of basic control I want to explain. So let's get started. Okay. So we can write if condition and let me explain. Check this employee ID if is equal to one to three. We have to mention as then name. This is very frictional example. Okay, so this won't work. We have to give a set. Okay. So this is a I think proper if else condition. So if this is a variable name employee ID is equal to so remember that we should not give a two equal symbol in most of the programming language we have to give two equal symbol here only one. So this is the number not any quotation mark one to three then name is null and output we should get null. Okay. So it is not coming from uh, source. Let me try to execute it. So once I create this uh, small icon over here. So it will uh, deploy this. There is some information message displayed. Okay, let me click over here. New messages. This is one, two, three. Okay. So now click. See, Anil is uh, displayed over here. That means we, we are checking with one, two, three. Then Anil should be appearing here. Okay. Let us try to change uh, this message structure to some other values. Five, six, seven. See this name element uh, doesn't appear because we we not assign any variable, so the name is null. So it, it doesn't uh, create this element at all. Okay. So for example, if you would like to specify any else condition, we can do that. Uh, let me add a one sort, we can mention else if employee ID is equal to five, six, seven, then say name is equal to Steve. Okay. Then also we can make else condition employee ID or we just simply make else. Uh, we won't give any condition over here. Name is equal to mark. Okay. So this is a simple if else condition. So it will check one, two, three, anil, five, six, seven, Steve. If anything else it will be mark. So let us click this, uh, you know, record messages. It will deploy our 
flow quickly. Uh, I think we should be good here. And we should click this message. This uh, 567. I think I just, I think five six seven is Steve. It should return. Yeah. So Steve one two three is uh, Anil. Let me do it real quick. One two three. Anil. And if I give anything else, for example, one two three four. So mark, right? So it is working as ex expected. Okay. So here also we can uh, specify uh, between one to three and, uh, for example, one two hundred. Let's say. Okay. So if any value we receive between uh, one twenty three and two hundred. So unless should be printer. Let's test it real quick. So drop a message. Uh, we already know one two three is working. So one fifty, right? So unless is coming. So that condition is working perfectly. So what does it mean? So we can give any you know comp uh, this kind of. Uh, other uh, English word kind of comparison we can give so we can use uh, you know between or exits or in or is like and all other thing so and also we can uh, use a combination of uh, this kind of and and we can use a small bracket notation if you are familiar with SQL statement so we, you can figure it out but that is not very different of if we keep on doing the you know uh, more tutorials i'll walk you through different kind of between like and other whatever is necessary so for now it is fine with the if condition also uh, i'll i'll discuss a string in elaborately but uh, uh, i'll show you one very simple concatenation string see if you pass uh, you know hello and if you do pipe symbol we can give a little space over here so anil hello anil it will print so let us test it. So concatenation usually if you give a plus a symbol, so usually it can concatenate in most of other programming languages. But here you have to give to pipe symbol to concatenate between two string. Okay. So let us ex execute. This is the same thing I, I want to execute. So it should say return me hello Anil. See hello Anil. So we can do concatenation in ESQL real quickly, right? So uh, this is all about it and I, I would like to explain about while loop and for loop for that let me create uh, design this uh, you know schema a little bit so what I should create mm, for example I'll create another element address line line items or something like that Okay, uh, instead of uh, there is, uh, let me see here multiplicity 0 to many. Okay, so I'll say let me verify that it is stated properly or not. Yeah, that's correct. So minimum occurrence is 0, this is optional, and maximum occurrence is unbounded. So we can uh, pass any address line items. So we would like to iterate. And see how it is behaving, right? So let's see here. Our interface will be reflected. That changes, and uh, let's see. We'll click over here. I may want to create a new message. This is not automatically creating for me. Never mind. I can create a toast line item myself. Control C. Okay, I just quickly typed over here. So I have added two elements. Uh, so we can pass any 
uh, address for example Elizabeth Street King Street uh, that's fine and, and, and it actually work so if you click on the send uh, nothing will happen here because we have uh, not implemented any logics so now let us try to implement some uh, loops over here so if we after this if condition you know, we can declare some variable declare i integer and we can start from 1 or we can start from 0 it, it is up to us so here we can sp specify file I'll just give a simple example just to begin with uh, while loop then I will you know extract that information from input that will work fine if I is less than 2 right so we have to give do then and while okay so this is loop from 1 less than less than 5 let's mention if as long as it's less than 5 this loop will be executed and how we can terminate it we have to use a set i is equal to i plus 1 so this is very important statement otherwise if you don't increment it so this loop will be infinite loop and it will cross the system so we have to i it will come here do the processing i plus 1 uh, then it will be 2 then 3 4 till 4 it will be printed now what i would like to do I would like to you know change this name set name is equal to so I'll just use the same name concatenate whatever the name is coming concatenate then I'll just uh, append the I just index some some random number will be generated let us concatenate again some spaces so single quote one two three four Okay. Well, it is very simple I first define a variable initialized with I this is just my index and if I is less than 5 so uh, 1 is less than 5 2 3 4 up to 4 it will execute the name whatever this populated earlier it will append this I again it will that name will be appended so you can see in the magic so set 1 and this will be we can display over here okay now let me run it uh, to print this uh, integer let me do a slight change here because this is an integer and I am trying to concatenate with a string so I have to use a method known as cast okay uh, so this cast will map this as uh, character so for the display purpose it will cast this integer as a, a character then it will be able to concatenate it properly okay now let me deploy it and test it real quick so here I am sending the message. It is we can able to see. see the mark and space one two three four. So the loop is executing. So I, I hope you got the basic idea about the loop. Well, let me stop it and uh, let us try to access uh, because we have two element right one and two. Let us give a three uh, and try to concatenate. This is not a very clean example. Or anyway, let us try to. Uh, what I want to do I, I just want to create two variable uh, declare address one ATT uh, okay I define two variable address one and address two but ideally but I want to create in a loop so uh, no problem uh, let me directly assign it okay so I'll just uh, get rid of it so there is no need for here uh, sorry uh, just I'll get rid of this statement let, let me have this index okay now uh, what I want to do I'll uh, directly set the value in the output node dot okay 
Is it on? Uh, it's not on. XML. Let me do it little, right quickly. Uh, I have quickly uh, typed this one uh, just to speed up the process. This is a very simple thing I am doing. Uh, I am uh, accessing this address line item uh, 1 and the one interesting thing I want to show right I can use I. I is accessing that input and we can also assign the same you know, if you want to have the same element or we can do any kind of manipulation a little bit different I will explain in future videos. But objective is that we can copy this array one by one index to another and if you want to concatenate we can say name to pipe symbol so we can do any kind of string operation once we get hold of the variable so name concatenation is we can receive so that's all about it so let's execute it i have for the simplicity i just commented the below one so if we execute it, let me see this two items should be copied over here along with this name. Name I think as per the conditional check. Um, so let's see what is coming here. This hello Anil Elizabeth Street because I, I just concatenated this name. The idea is that we can loop it and we can assign and we can do any kind of manipulation uh, if we once we get hold of this uh, you know array uh, elements so that is about it uh, okay today we discuss only a while loop maybe uh, in the uh, further tutorial i will explain about the for loop and we'll continue from there and uh, i'll try to cover a lot of string operation you know how can we can trim it and concatenation already we explain a lot of other string operator i will explain one by one okay thanks for watching the videos please leave a comment below or like and subscribe and uh, keep me motivated uh, thanks for watching have a wonderful day ahead bye bye